case briefs and so much more ls data's got what you're looking for a landmark verdict has been brought to light from 1976 when supreme court of the united states heard a case named alfred dunhill of london inc v republic of cuba the case explored the precedent that foreign governments cannot use their commercial operations for seeking immunity under the act of state doctrine these governments can indeed be brought to account for their commercial commitments in the American courts. The entire event dates back to 1960 when the Cuban government seized control of Cuban cigar businesses and appropriated their assets. Following these confiscations, the original owners of these businesses instigated a legal battle against American importers. The former owners alleged the importers of trademark infringement and demanded payment for cigars carrying U.S. trademarks that were shipped from the seized Cuban factories. The initial verdict from the district court favored the former owners. It was ruled that the importers had a duty to make payments for the accounts that were pending before the government intervention. However, dismissing the judgment of the Court of Appeals, the Supreme Court held a different view. The vantage point of the Supreme Court was its earlier ruling stating the act of state doctrine could not be applied on commercial behaviors of foreign governments. Subsequently, it decided that commercial obligations of these governments could be adjudicated in the American courts, under the umbrella of international law. The court maintained that this would not create obstacles for U.S. foreign policy. This judgment, therefore, set a precedent in matters involving foreign governments and their commercial operations. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.